Charlie Karchner, MMI Prep here on the Java Dola Show. Uh, let's talk about this event first, you know, getting all these teams here, getting in the, the Rail Riders Clubhouse. Pretty cool stuff. Absolutely. It's awesome to be in the Scranton World Square with Yankees Rail Riders uh, Stadium. Um, I played here back in 2014 with our co head coach, Corey Rogers. So it's surreal to be able to step back into the stadium and to be at such an amazing event. MMI, you guys take baseball seriously. You got a beautiful complex there. Let's talk about uh, you know what you guys are going to do here in the spring of 2023. Absolutely, yeah. The first year we were able to play in the stadium was in 2014, um, and right after we graduated, shortly after, Coach Ryan Jastrzemski took over and really made a strong culture uh, for baseball at MMI Prep. We've adapted all of his ways that he's participated and given to the school. Um, we've tried to build on it as best as we can, and Coach Corey and I have led the team, but hope that the leaders on the team step forward and make MMI baseball great. We've got four guys with us today. If you want to give us a little synopsis of each guy and, and talk about what they're going to contribute to the season. Absolutely. First, we have our uh, senior leader, Ty McDermott. Um, Ty was a huge help last year, came in as DH, uh, participated a lot, uh, really led the team was a team leader along with the three seniors last year. Uh, this year he stepped up, worked on baseball a lot throughout the summer, and is really going to be a great leader this year and in his future years. Uh, next we have Heath Williams. Um, Heath played with his brother in when he was in ninth grade. This year he's an 11th grader, and last year he showed a lot of potential um, pitching, fielding, being a menace at the plate, really making sure that he was fighting balls off, giving his best every pitch that came to him, and made some important plays toward the latter part of the season to advance us to a second game in, state, in the state finals. Uh, next we have Zach Yenchko. Uh, Zach came on as a 10th grader to MMI. In his first year at MMI, he's had two home runs. Uh, played an awesome part in the success at MMI. Uh, a lot of the teams we played against are a little bit larger, stronger. They have a few more players on the team than we do. Uh, but Zach was a huge part in making sure our pitches were on cue. Um, we had a strong field in center field, and he made sure the uh, the infielders were all communicating as well, making throws um, to second base, third base, home plate, and making sure the, the runs that were hit to the outfield um, were managed. Next we have Andrew Burns. Uh, Andrew Burns was a starter in ninth grade. Uh, he started at second base, really proved his way early in his MMI career with baseball. And last year contributed as a great pitcher. Um, also was great at the plate, fought off pitches. Uh, so this year we're, we're hoping that he continues to grow and we'd like to see him continue to build his, his game both in the infield at shortstop and in the outfield because he's participated played multiple positions for our team. Well, you guys always are up against it. Small class at MMI, but you go and play the best competition you could in the Wyoming Valley Conference. We wish you the best this season. Thank you very much.